All right, so a very good morning. Thank you so much for making the time to participate in our joint office meeting for the offices of Boca Raton and Boynton Beach and Wellington. Today, I'm going to be your host. Um, Carol Stover is enjoying her honeymoon. Uh, so uh, she's not gonna be at the meeting today. Um, and uh, our guests today are Mr. Hugh Page, Prosperity Home Mortgage, Sherry Gunther, Prosperity Home Mortgage, Kim Fritchie, I don't know, Cheryl, if you're on the call uh, from uh, FTGA, Gavi Evans from Home Services Insurance, and Saud, who's going to join a little bit later because he's in a meeting right now um, from uh, uh, American Home Shield. Hugh and Sherry, if you guys are ready, I am ready. You have to unmute yourself. You're on, Hugh. There you go. There we go. Sorry, I didn't realize I was muted. Sorry. Uh, everybody hear me now? Yes, we can. Yeah, I just wanted to quickly give you a quick market update on what's going on with uh, interest rates on the market. Sherry will talk a little bit about products. Um, looks like uh, interest rates are starting to, to move up again. Uh, we've had kind of an in interesting year. Um, towards the end of last year, rates started to move up. Um, as the Fed started to get a little bit more aggressive in their talk. And then the first of the year through, through basically the end of May, rates shot up a huge amount, like two, two and a half percent, something like that, which is unprecedented amount. And then they kind of eased a bit uh, when the Fed started to get aggressive. They, they went up uh, again uh, to their peak in mid June, where we kind of got near around six and a half percent on a 30 year fixed. And then they fell pretty precipitously uh, down into the fives again. Well, they're rising up again, and we're probably going to be starting to hit the uh, uh, six and a half percent uh, mark any day now, <laughs> unfortunately. So um, it's all about inflation. Uh, we had a pretty nasty inflation report this morning, came out, consumer price index. That's kind of the real, uh, real tell all right now. Um, you know, a lot of the data is, is, is lagging data. So uh, a, a lot of what's happening with inflation is not reflected in the numbers that get reported today. And so I think what you're going to see is you're going to start to see some um, moderation. Uh, so where are we hit with interest rates now? It's hard to say. Um, are we going to continue to go higher than the 6.5% range on the 30-year fix? Very possible. Uh, is it possible also that we kind of peak out again there? Um, like we did in mid-June? Yeah, that's possible too. So um, the inflation is the key. Uh, so watch that. Um, that's basically all I got today. Any questions? Thank that you. That was great. Thank you, Hugh. That was great. Thank you, Hugh. Well, happy fall, y'all. It is so great to see you guys on here. I am grateful for pumpkin spice lattes and I'm grateful for you. So thank you so much, Boca Berkshire family, for all the referrals from Anna Cavalier, Maria Swedner, Liddy Hertz, Michelle Peduda, Donna Hardy, under contract again uh, with Miss Carmen Getz. Um, Bob Wyrock, and for the closed business with Miss Deborah from Miss Deborah Beritica. Um, and don't forget, guys, I am personally licensed in the state of Florida as well as North Carolina. Um, so if you know anybody who wants to buy a second home up there or just move up there or Airbnb, um, I can help. And then as always, we are licensed, you know, prosperity mortgage as a whole across the United States. So we can help your clients move anywhere pretty much. Um, today, I am going to highlight one of our new loan products that just came out. Justin, thank you. So have you guys ever had a uh, somebody try to qualify for a mortgage, but because they're self-employed and they have a lot of expenses written off on their tax returns, they didn't qualify? Well, this program is awesome and it is perfect for all my self-employed friends and my investors who have a lot of expenses because guess what? We are not going to look at the tax returns. That's right. We are not going to look at the tax returns. We're looking at the bank statements. So um, can you go to the next slide, please? Of course. So as you guys can see here, it's a 680 credit score requirement, 15% down, but the loans can go up to 3 million. 
Um, there will be an expense factor, but it depends on what um, the business is. Um, sometimes the expense factor will be less than 50%. And so, so yeah, it's pretty amazing. We can use either 12 to 24 months of, of the business or your personal bank statements. And uh, you do have to be self-employed for at least two years, but it could be owner-occupied second homes or non-owner-occupied. So pretty amazing. Um, so what I want you guys to do is think about who in your database falls into this category and let's give them a shout with the good news because we wanna help them with the dream of home ownership all while getting you more transactions. It's a win-win and I just love win-wins. Speaking of wins, I wanna share a quick success story with you. Um, oh, did you want me to talk about that? Okay. Um, this is great too. I just sent this mortgage tip out. So uh, some, a lot of people don't know that uh, a parent can buy a house for a college student um, and it would be considered a primary residence for them as well as uh, somebody who is, um, you know, an elderly parent or a child that has uh, special needs. So um, this will definitely open the door for more transactions as well, because a lot of people don't know about this program. So thank you, Justin. Um, so a quick success story that I just wanted to share. Um, so I had worked about a month ago on a transaction with, um, uh, I was working with the buyer's agent and then the listing agent just really appreciated how we called every week with an update, you know, cause like, hardly anybody does that. Right. So we were calling every week with an update and, um, yeah, he just thought that was great. And, uh, the transaction went well. And so he called me like a couple weeks ago and, and said that it was the week of closing and rocket mortgage had denied his clients loan. So I don't know if that's ever happened to you guys where the week of closing, it gets denied, but you can only yes, imagine. It has. Yes, it has. So he was very frustrated. The client was very frustrated. And so he called me and he's like, can you help? And I said, well, let me see what we can do. And by God's amazing grace, you know, our amazing team uh, rocked it out from contract to close in just 13 days. So he was super happy about that. I just spoke with the client again yesterday and he was just very, very thankful. So let us, me and Hugh, let us protect your paychecks, guys. So, um, you know, try to encourage your clients to, you know, get a second opinion because we don't want that to happen to you. Um, you know, the week of closing. And lastly, just save the date, Boynton family. Next week, Thursday, 9.22 from, uh, from 12 to 1, I'm going to do a lunch and learn on all these new loan products that we just got in. That's going to help you guys, you know, get even more transactions. Does that sound good in this shifting market, more transactions? So make sure you, you show up for that. Please RSVP to Lori by uh, Tuesday the 20th. And don't worry, Boca family, I'm going to do one in the Boca office as well. Um, and thank you again to everybody who took time out to meet with me and you for this forum contest. It was so great getting to know you guys more and seeing how we could best help you with your business. Um, the drawing is the 15th. And for those who met with us, they got put into the contest to win either $2,000 towards their favorite charity, a $2,000 electronic bike that you could sell, I guess, and get $2,000, um, or $2,000 to the Thanks Store, which is my favorite. And it's this great website, once again, um, and you know, you don't have to be in the contest to, uh, you know, subscribe to the, the Thanks Store, but it's really great website where you're going to get a $2,000 credit to buy closing gifts, birthday gifts, all kinds of gifts for your clients. Um, and, you know, uh, it's just really awesome. So also uh, the most appointments from an office win $750 towards a party. So I hope we won. And um, that's it, champs. That's it for me. As always, I love you. Um, me and you, we are here for you for your pre-approvals, those second opinions and your random mortgage questions. So I hope you have a blessed day. Thank you, Sherry. Kim, you're on. Good morning. Thanks, Justin. Good morning, everybody. I'm happy to be with you guys. And um, 
Just a reminder, again, uh, we always start off reminding everybody that we have a, a website that has all kinds of really pertinent information for you as agents and information that you can print out for buyers and sellers that it relates to closing procedures and um, what they need to expect and the process. So just a reminder to go on there every once in a while and, and, and look around to see all the information that is provided um, through our website. And um, we're reminding again to continually, continually tell your customers um, about wire fraud and to be incredibly um, suspicious of anything sent to them via email. Uh, actually, last month, Cheryl, a uh, file that Cheryl and I have it, uh, for the Boynton office, uh, we had an attempt uh, of um, over $600,000, close to $700,000 on one of our files. Um, fortunately, the buyer uh, picked up the phone and he got a hold of Cheryl and said, I just got a closing statement and wire instructions sent to me email from you telling me to wire in, it was a cash closing. And she said, that was not for me, that was fraud. It, it was unbelievably um, well done, looked real. They changed one letter in her email address and it's just unbelievable. So for, you know, we do try to constantly tell everybody, don't accept anything via email, it's unsecured. So um, just another reminder on that hit because it literally happened to us last month again. So fortunately he he did call and, and that didn't, nothing happened um and it, as well that we offer the identity theft protection this is such a great gift i try so hard to tell the clients when we're closing i give them the the form and they get a code and every buyer every seller that closes with florida title and guarantee gets that in their closing package and all they have to do is, is go on and give the code and sign up and they get a year completely free of identity theft protection. They spend up to a million dollars if somebody does happen to try to breach and um, to correct, you know, whatever, whatever happened if they do have that happen to them. So I, I sell this big, I, I personally pay for it. So I'm like, I, you know, it's free <laughs> anyhow. So that's a really great offer that we give as a closing gift. Okay. A stop with certificates. Um, Per the statute, uh, every five years, they revisit uh, the fees that the associations can charge, which are on the next slide, if you don't mind flipping over there, on their caps, basically. So the estoppel fee per association cannot be more than $299. Um, but do keep in mind that the companies that, the lien search companies that order those estoppels, the third party vendors that order those for us, they charge a fee to obtain it. It's usually about $75. So if you see on the closing statement, it's over $299 and it's just a bit over that, it's usually, it's because the, the third party fee that is mailing those checks out and getting the orders and all that, that's their, their fee to do that. But the actual association for the estoppel cannot charge more than $299 going forward. There's two or three, that's per each, they can charge that. So if you've got a couple, two or three, and you see it's $600, it's that, that, that's what they get per each one. Um, the rush fees, if they have that as an option, um, they can charge an additional 119. And then there are, if it's delinquent, they can charge another fee if it's gone into collections. And then the bottom part there, which we don't get too much into is on large commercials where there's you know, 25, 50, 100 units. And then those are the prices there for your, uh, for your information. But just uh, that has been the updated fees now on the associations. And to our classes, we've got two more classes um, for the remainder of this month right here. Um, actually, there is one today that starts at one um, that you could you could certainly sign up for. I'm sure you can. And it's actually, in my opinion, one of the best classes. It's um, what do you do with a title commitment? Because I, I know that everybody gets copied on the title commitment. And if you want to be able to really understand it and maybe ask questions or answer questions for your customers, it's really going to go into to the depths of what it is. Why, what are those things? What has to happen? Do you see mortgages? Do you see judgments? And that's going to give you a little bit better understanding um, for you to know what what's 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 going on on your particular you know particular transaction. Um, so that's a great class if, if you haven't taken it. I recommend that one. And then there's one more at the end of the month that you can get credit hours for, um, and that's aging in Florida, elder abuse and probate, which is something that um, you know is very prevalent down here. It's prevalent everywhere, but especially South Florida. Um, and you can get credit hours for that one, and that's at 11 on the 28th. 
And Cheryl, um, just FYI, she just got back um, from a very, very well-deserved vacation. She was on vacation last week, so she's catching up today. But to remind you um, who your whole team is, um, we've got Lisa Nuccio um, and Cheryl, myself, Kareen, who's our back-end secret awesome closer, and Sherry and Jeff. So, you know, we are all here at to support you guys in any way we can. Um, and you can reach out to any of us at any time. So if Cheryl's out, you can call Kareen, you can call myself, you can call Lisa. So you've got a lot of people to reach out to for support. Thank you, Kim. Thank you You're very welcome. much. That was a great presentation. Yeah, and one, if you don't mind, just one last thing. I'd really of like course. to give shout outs for those that um, supported us and, and that we had closed transactions with last month. We had a great month. So I would like to just personally thank and recognize Bob Weinrack. Donna Hardy, Joe Young, Julie Barringer, Ram Almon, Randy LaCritz, Sue Sussman, and Valerie Blistra, and Robert Cortina, Justin Boca. And then for the uh, Boynton and uh, Wellington offices, we had Linda and Harold Wellman, Laura Maher, Linda, Carman, uh, Linda Carlton, and Tara Verney. So just thank you guys so very much. And let us know if you have any questions, please reach out. Thank you, Kim. Welcome, thank you. Gabby. Hi everyone. Um, I have some information for you is just in regards to um, our last meeting. I'll go ahead and do a quick recap. Um, so Florida homeowners insurance market continues. Um, as we've all seen, it's been ups and downs, um, but I wanna remind everyone, I don't, no, I don't have to, it's still hurricane season. Um, so that runs through November 30th. Um, we do have two tropical waves that um, everyone's kind of keeping an eye out for, see what's going to happen with those. Uh, but again, if you have clients that haven't bound their policy, uh, make sure that they do as soon as possible. Um, and this is not just during hurricane season, but in general, the sooner they bind it, the, the quicker the process can go with the closing, getting everything in place. Um, so typically, we can uh, finalize a policy 30 days in advance. Um, as of our last meeting, um, United Property and Casualty officially did announce that they will be pulling out of Florida. So if anyone has any policies with them or if you have any friends, families that need um, insurance, feel free to send them my way. I'll gladly review their options. Um, and just as a reminder that as of July 1st, um, SB2D um, with the new laws that came into play, um, carriers can no longer decline coverage solely on the age of the roof. Um, so Homes under 15 years old, we still do have to provide proof that they have at least five years of life left. Anything over that, um, they could potentially still decline it if it doesn't have at least five years of life left. Um, citizens is still an option. They will go down to three years. So as long as the property has at least three years of life left, they will accept it. Um, also, citizens is still an option for anyone that's needing to replace the roof after closing. We just have to have a signed roofing contract up front um, so that we can provide that to citizens to get an approval. Um, the biggest thing that we were all kind of dreading or not knowing what was going to happen was with the downgrades, um, but luckily citizens is still in place. Um, so they are going to be the reinsurance um, carrier. They have that arrangement. So um, that's pretty much kind of settled for right now. Nothing's happened with that. The biggest thing with the properties right now we do need four point inspections for anything that's over 10 years um, or older. Um, really what we're seeing is that some of the carriers are now, now requiring that the AC and water heater that they've been replaced within the last 10 years. Um, some carriers are still going up to 15, others it doesn't matter to them, but because we work with so many carriers and we always wanna make sure we're shopping with all of them, um, we do need that uh, four point inspection for any property that's 10 years or older. And that's for um, insurability purposes. So we can make sure that it meets the requirements for the specific carrier. Um, as always, we recommend having the wind mitigation inspection for any property. Um, that's a big discount that we don't want the client to miss out on, especially with the rates having increased and then the rates going up with mortgage. We definitely wanna try and keep the premiums as low as possible for the insurance um, for the closing, especially if there's any potential DTI issues. Um, and then, the next um, slide is what's happening in the market now. So some of the options that are being rolled out, um, the carriers are really trying to mitigate their risk. Uh, so they're providing some options to help also with the litigation environment. 
Uh, one of the options that they're providing is the actual cash value on the roofs. Um, and then they're also introducing a binding arbitration endorsement. So some carriers are willing to include that in exchange for a lower premium. The actual cash value, um, the way it works is they are going to pay based on the depreciated value of the time of the loss. Uh, what they're taking into account, it's going to be the age of the roof, the lifespan and type of roof, and then the rate of depreciation. Um, this is a quick chart just to explain and for you guys to see. This is one of the charts provided by one of the carriers. It lets you know exactly um, what to expect, the percentage that they'll be covering based on how old the roof is, what type of roof material it is, and then um, also at the time of the loss, that's when all of that will be determined. Um, the great thing about the actual cash value endorsement is that it does save on the premium, so uh, clients can save up to 20% depending on the carrier, um, but also it only applies um, when the roof is damaged by wind, um, hail, or hurricane. So if it's a total loss by a fire, a total loss um, in general, then that will still, the roof will be replaced at replacement cost. Um, the next slide just lets you know that you could potentially save up to 20% on the premium. This is really important uh, because with the rates increasing, I know a lot of us have seen on our personal policies that the rates have increased 40% and above. So a 20% discount is a good amount. Um, again, you would be trading in the fact that you're not going to be having um, replacement costs on your roof in case of a wind or hurricane um, damage to it. Um, but that's an option if you absolutely have to keep your premium down. Uh, the next um, item that some of the uh, carriers are introducing is a binding arbitration, and this is what they're trying to um, make sure that we inform all the clients about, and it's because there's just been so many lawsuits, and that's what's generated um, the rates going up and then carriers not wanting to insure, carriers leaving the state. Um, so this is a way that they're wanting to kind of take control of that and help um, stay in Florida. Uh, so essentially, it's going to be a resolution process. Um, initially, if there's a claim, it will go to mediation. If it can't be settled during mediation, then it'll go through the arbitration uh, process. Uh, the carriers are going to pay for the cost of the mediation and arbitration fees and us as clients or um, the owner of the policy, we still have the right to be represented by an attorney, but we do have to pay for that. So it's at our own expense. Um, this is a, an example of how that process would work. Um, so the dispute would be, um, the claim would be submitted, disputed. Um, again, mediation would be the first step. If it's not resolved through that, then we would go on to the arbitration um, selection. So the parties get to choose the arbitrator or ar arbitrators. Um, then there would be a scheduling for a final date. There is going to be a time for both parties to uh, get their documentation together. And then there's a final hearing. Um, after the final hearing, the final decision will be provided within 30 days. Um, so that will be a written decision that's provided. The one thing about the binding arbitration agreement um, is that you're you're not able to then go back to the court and say you didn't like the final um, decision. So you have to pretty much go by what the final decision is through this um, binding arbitration process. Um, the good thing about the arbitration um, endorsement is that it does provide some discounts. Um, so again, depending on the carrier, um, it could be up to 20%. Um, and that's on the next slide. Um, also, it's a quicker dispute resolution. So it's months versus potential years. Um, right now, it's anticipated that it would take about 120 days from start to finish to get everything resolved, which that's so much quicker and it's less expensive as well. Um, and then the third thing, it's the peace of mind because the client will know exactly what to expect, when to expect it and what the process will be. Um, so that's the great new things that are being offered by the carriers, the actual cash value, the arbitration endorsement. Um, and then the next um, slide, um, I wanted to share this and I can definitely email it. Um, it's just we wanted to make sure that you guys can provide something to the client and let them know why they should work with home services insurance, um, what the benefits are. Um, so the biggest thing is they do have choices as carriers have left. We still have carriers that we are able to write with in the state. Um, it's convenient. I work with um, all of our partners, Prosperity Mortgage, Title. We want to make sure that we make this process as easy as possible for the client and that we can get all the documents to the closing um, on time. 
And then savings, that's the biggest things with all the rates increasing. Um, our main thing is to make sure that we do try and find a competitive policy. Uh, we will not strip coverage for the sake of saving um, on a policy. It just is not the, it's not what we stand for. Um, if a client does want to make certain changes to it, we definitely can do that. Um, and we will advise them as far as what their other options are. Um, also, the benefit is that we don't only do home, we also do auto umbrellas, rental properties, condos. Um, so that really helps us help clients with more than just one insurance need. And it helps them keep everything with one agency. Um, so if anything does happen, they know exactly where to go. Um, also, we're there as an advocate for claims. Um, I always tell all the clients, um, don't just automatically go directly to the carrier and file a claim, because whether that claim is paid or not, it will remain on the loss history, and it could be on there anywhere between three to five years. Um, so I always ask clients, give me a call if you have um, anything that might potentially be a claim so we can talk through it. First of all, we want to make sure it even exceeds your deductible um, because if you, again, you submit that claim, it's even if it's not covered or if it doesn't exceed your deductible, it will still be on your um, loss history. And then the biggest thing too, is they get to work with one um, agent, which would be myself. I get to walk to um, through them through the whole process. I take care of them for the first year. After the first year, they can absolutely still reach out to me, um, but we do have a great customer service with home services insurance that would take care of them as well. Um, so someone will always be available um, to assist. And then the biggest, biggest thing I can't um, stress enough is that even though we do work with a lot of carriers, we work for the client. We work for you. All of these options, all of everything that home services has to offer is something that is available to you as individual agents and also to the clients. Um, so we're here to help you with your own insurance needs with the clients. And again, I'm gonna be here looking out for you um, first and foremost. Um, and I know I always have um, agents say, well, I already have someone that I work with. I already have someone that I've been referring business over to. That is completely fine. I'm not asking you to, for me to be the only one. I'm just asking you to give your clients a second opinion um, because in the market that we're in, all of the options they can potentially get is gonna be in the best interest for them. There will be times where I can't offer anything more competitive or we just don't have a market for a specific property or insurance product. And I'll be the first one to let them know that unfortunately we don't have anything. Um, if I do know of an agent with another company that possibly could help them, I will refer them over to them because I wanna make sure that we can get them to the closing table. Um, if it's not for a closing, I wanna make sure that again, you have options and that you know what else is out there. Um, so I felt like this was a great way to tie everything in with what's going in the market. Um, if you guys have any questions, feel free to reach out, give me a call, email me, text me. I reply within the same day. I'm all about communication. If for some reason something um, I can't get back to you within the same day, I'll let you know I'm working on it. I'm getting the answer for you, uh, but I'm here for you guys. Um, feel free to reach out at any point. And I'm available on Saturdays too, via text. I won't, I'm not available on the phone, but you can text me on Saturday at any time. Thank you, Gabby. Thank you very much. That was a great presentation. I feel that we're all becoming, little by little, we're becoming experts in insurance, which is <laughs> something that we were lacking. So thank you very much. That was fantastic. You're welcome. Saud, were you able to make it? Yes, sir. Outstanding. Thank you, Saud. <laughs> On the nick of time. Look at this guy. It's been a crazy day. Let's put it that way. Uh, but it's a good thing, right? Oh, um, yes. Anyway. Um, for the ones that doesn't know me, my name is Saru Sadea. I'm your account executive for American Home Shield with the Home Warranty uh, Partner. And uh, one of the things that I want to share with you, I promise is going to be short. You see that slide on the screen, $100 off um, for the month of September. All of our three policies, we are offering $100 off between September 1st. Any transaction that get ordered between September 1st and the September 30th of this month. It does not have to close in the month of September. It could close and funded anytime between now and December 31st. It must be funded on December, before December 31st. So uh, take advantage of that. If you wanna give a gift to a client uh, for a condo or a townhouse for the Shield Essential, you're looking at $225 instead of $325. What a nice gift for a, a, a whole year, you know, that they can take advantage of that for their air conditioning or plumbing or electrical or water heater, or $325 for a single family home under 
the 5,000 square feet. So um, if you have any question on that, by all means, just has, don't hesitate to call me and I'll be more than happy to explain it to you or answer any question you have. Uh, last but not least, it's very important in your dot loop, you do have the um, application form. Please, please, please share that with all your seller and your buyers requirement by your broker. And if they want the warranty, please share that form back with me. If they need information on the warranty, your specialty is a real estate, have them reach out to myself, pass my contact information to them, and I'll be more than happy to answer their questions. If they decline the home warranty, which is hopefully they won't, you must obtain a waiver from them signed and keep it in your file for your own personal protection, okay? Um, and it is, that's, uh, that's all on the uh, on the office packages. So uh, um, uh, I'm uh, I'm interrupting. So all the uh, all the sales professionals that, uh, know that they you already have that form on your mandatory paperwork on form simplicity. So if you just use the, our office packages, you will be sure to send both the uh, flyer and the disclaimer. Correct. So that's a good practice that I want to share. That's all I have for today. I promise it will be short. So. <laughs> Thank you, you so thank you. Please. I know you were in another meeting, so I appreciate you very much your scrambling to make it this one. Thank you so much. Absolutely. All right. great... oh, my. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All right. So um eSign 2.0 is here, and I gotta tell you, it is great. Uh, it takes all the good things about eSigns and makes it uh, makes it a little bit easier, uh, a little bit uh, um, simpler uh, for you and for the customers. It's a very intuitive design. Uh, it works fantastic on mobile phones. All you need to do to enable it is go to your profile on phone simplicity and then toggle the uh, eSign 2.0 and the option will be right there. Um, do not worry about the database. If you have any transactions that you started on eSign uh, 2.0 uh, 2. Um, on the previous eSign, I don't know if it was 1.0, um, the uh, old information moves to eSign 2.0. It's exactly the same database. And uh, both interfaces will be available for about a year. Um, all you have to do when you start the session is either create new session, will take you to the old version of eSign. And if you want to try the eSign 2.0, just click where it says create new eSign 2.0 session. Um, let me go back a little bit of this before I go to the benefits. So um, I will be sending a very short training video and, uh, and a guide on eSign 2.0. Uh, so keep an eye on your inbox. You should be receiving this before the end of this week. And I want to do that because in my video, I'm just going to go straight to the point. I'm going to try to give the video below five minutes. Okay. Now for the next thing, I've been in the industry for 22 years. I've been with the company for 11 years. And I know very well that this is something that we have always wanted and it seemed unachievable. And now, amazingly enough, it is benefits. And I'm talking about benefits. I'm talking about dental benefits, vision, healthcare, and whatnot. This is only for us, only for Bursa Hathaway Home Services uh, uh, sales professionals. And uh, the only requirement is that you come to the meeting in person. Um, they are going to explain all the programs in detail in person. This is going to be next Wednesday, if I'm not wrong, is Wednesday, September the 21st at 11 a.m. at the Realtor Association building in Military uh, Trail. And uh, I am sending reminders with all the details by email. If you did not get it, let me know and I'll send it to you again. It's a must attend event. The way I'm uh, uh, proposing it is this. Listen, if you were scheduled to get married on September 21st, postpone the marriage and come to the meeting. Health insurance for realtors is something that we've been starving for for years. I've seen a little bit of the program and I am extremely impressed. So whatever you have to do to attend, do it. I got to tell you right now, if you call me the day after and tell me, Justin, I couldn't go because my dog was depressed and my cat needed to go to the therapist and whatnot, I'm sorry, I'm not going to be able to help you. The only time where you can sign up for this is in person on September 21st between 11 a.m. and noon at the Realtor Association building on Military Trail. It's 3200 North Military Trail. Next great item of good news. Deposits are easier than ever now. All 
what all that your customer needs to do is to go to the ebillexpress.com. If you're uh, if you're right now scrambling to write it down, don't worry about it. If you go to any of my emails on the signature, now I have a new link. This is deposits, and the link will take you there. And of course, I can email it to you too. But uh, it is Ebill Express. It's a very good system from Wells Fargo, and it is just as easy as entering the from the the property address twice. Uh, check the captcha. You know, like I'm not a robot thing. Uh, enter the required info, which is very simple to do. Add the payment method, agree to authorization, and you're done. It looks very much like what you're going to see on the screen right now. This is the home page. See, all you have to do is to enter the address twice and then check in. I'm not a robot. Then you're going to move on. And the next thing is going to look a lot like this. What's the customer name? What's the phone number? What's the email address? What's the current address, meaning the mailing address for the customer, not the property address? What is the payment amount? whether it's a first deposit, second deposit or not, the payment method and the name of the sales professional that is working with the particular customer. After that, you enter your payment method and all you need is the routing number and the account number. And it's going to ask you, is this a personal account or a business account, check-in or savings, super easy. Finally, you're gonna verify the payment. It's gonna show you everything again. You are going to agree to the terms and conditions, and then you're going to click where it says make payment, and you are going to get a confirmation. It's something that it takes about a minute and a half to complete, and it is absolutely safe and secure. This is a Wells Fargo Berkshire Hathaway website, absolutely safe. So this is great news. No more scrambling, trying to get personal checks, driving to the office. Now your customers can make deposits in a minute, a minute and a half, from their phones, from the laptops, and the safety of home. Interesting new form that uh, we needed, and I'm very glad that Florida Realtors have made that available, is the appraisal gap addendum. And it is exactly what you would imagine the appraisal gap addendum uh, would be. It just says that if the valuation, if the property valuations is less than the purchase price, then the buyer will pay the difference up to a maximum of so much, not to exceed the purchase price. If the gap amount added to valuation exceeds the purchase price, then the buyer gap amount will be reduced to the purchase price. It's just like that. It's super simple. It is available on form simplicity. This one is very important. Uh, vacant land is being targeted um, by scammers, by criminals in the state of Florida, a lot. We have a lot of vacant land, particular agricultural land up north, and um, a lot of the, uh, um, the owners live overseas. So if you have a potential listing with vacant land, you have to do your due diligence and you have to make 100% sure that you're dealing with the actual owner of the property. Best thing you can do if you have a vacant land listing coming up, contact me. Let's talk. And we're gonna make sure that we verify that you're actually dealing with the owner of the property. It is rampant. It's all over the place. And some of these criminals are clumsy and you can tell immediately they're scammers. Some of these criminals are very sophisticated. You do not want to end up in a situation where you are cooperating unwittingly and unknowingly, but you're cooperating with a criminal by listing a, a vacant land on behalf of a scammer instead of the actual owner of the property. Um, we have an ongoing referral contest. Uh, the price is 500 bucks, so it's super easy. If you have a referral, and remember, we cover the whole country. So if you have a referral, an outgoing referral, somebody you know wants to buy a property in Colorado, in California, in Iowa, New York, wherever it is, just either click at the bottom of my emails where it's a signature, or you can scan this QR code, or you can just email Adrian our, at the referral department, and uh, your referral will be entered between now and December the 8th. So good luck, let's win that, let's keep that price in the region. If you are doing any rentals in Broward County, there is a new required disclosure. The good news is all you have to do is to send it to the tenant and make sure that the landlord sends it to the tenant if you don't send it. Um, it, it is called required notice of rental housing rights and resources. The other part of the good news is that I already created for the office, for the Boca office at least, I created packages for landlords and tenants in Broward County. 
So you have to scramble to see where the document is and we're not, I already created two packages for you. Um, it's a two page PDF and it just states the, uh, uh, the general rights of the tenant and the obligations of the landlord. In a nutshell, and this is a hyper-simplified nutshell, this, is, this does not replace actually reading it and understanding, it, but just for the purposes of this presentation, it states that landlords and real estate licensees, this is you, have an obligation to give the tenants a copy of the tenant's bill of right, and the landlords must give advance written notice of late fees before charging them. That's in a nutshell. It's two pages, it's much more than that. Um, there is a, a couple of new packages in Form Simplicity, like I mentioned, and when you go to Form Simplicity to the packages section, that's what it looks like. Boca Office, Broward Rentals, Landlord, Boca Office, Broward Rentals, Tenant. And finally, I'll leave you with Warren Buffett saying, I would want to be associated with somebody where the financial strength was in question and where the name stood for integrity. What other quality would you want the Berkshire Hathaway Home Services does not have? I don't think you could find one. 